a walkthrough on how to liberate the cult outpost Eden's Convent. So this is in Faith's region once again, and it's kind of like right in the middle of the region. Uh, and then basically you're gonna drive up this little dirt road right here, and then you've got this uh, convent, essentially. It kind of looks like a church. I'm not exactly sure what a convent is, but uh, there's about eight or nine guys at this one. Oh, well, and females as well. And you're gonna run into a couple of those angels, as they call it. So they're a little bit tougher to kill, and uh, it's best to take them down if possible. If you can't, you're gonna have to use a couple throwing knives. So yeah, once again, we're just gonna be using our fists, and we're gonna be using throwing knives to do this completely stealth and undetected on hard difficulty. Okay, let's go ahead and pop straight into this. Okay, and yeah, like I said, we're coming in right from the road. And we're gonna go into the back. Okay, we're just gonna rush over here real quick. Try to stay undetected here. Okay, and we've got our throwing knives selected. Recently, I've upgraded one of my perks so that I can have more throwing knives in my inventory. I should be able to have like six total, I think. Uh, I only have four right now, but yeah, I should be able to have six total. Uh, another beneficial thing you can do is use your binoculars and try to spot everyone right away. But these guys are uh, pretty pretty easy to know where they're at. So you're going to have three in the back here. It's going to be a guy walking back and forth right on top. Yep, here's the three in the back. So you got one way far over there, and then you got these two right here. You can take these two out no problem without anyone spotting you. Okay, we'll take the binoculars out of there. And we're just going to come up right behind these guys. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this woman down. And this guy isn't even going to notice. So what you can do is you can just walk right up to him. You don't have to throw a knife or anything. Okay, you are going to pick up his body though. You don't want to leave it laying out here. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Then we're gonna take him right down here and we're gonna drop him in the bushes. Then we'll go for that guy on the left next. Okay, and then we're also gonna grab her. Just to make sure no one spots anything going on suspicious. Okay, we'll drop her right in there as well. <clears throat> okay. Then just keep on crawling over this way. Don't stay in these flowers too, too long or else you'll get all drugged up. <laughs> As you can see, it's happening to me right now. Okay, then we'll just sneak up right behind this dude. And we'll take him down and we'll pull him over these uh, bags. Okay, we'll just pick up his body. We've got to throw a knife from him, so now we have five total. And you can just drop this guy in the water. It's not very deep. Okay. Now we're going to head up this way. There's one guy over here. We'll just spot him real quick to make sure we know where he is. And then there's a couple guys inside. That guy right there with the triangle, that guy's an angel. And uh, it's going to be a little bit tougher to hit, take down. So we got to be careful once we get to that guy. Okay, got some rifle ammo. Take it nice and easy here. Okay, you should be able to throw a knife this guy without getting spotted. Yep, just one hit in the back and he goes down. Okay, and we're just going to make sure his body is even better hidden than it is now. Just going to real quick move him right behind here. We'll drop him down. Okay, then there's a woman right there. We are not going to mess with her yet. We're just going to leave her be. There's a wolf in there. We're not going to mess with him. We're going to take out these guys inside this house next. Okay, this guy should be doing stuff right here, like sweeping. Okay, we'll take this guy out. He's an angel. Okay, and then this guy right here. You're going to throw and knife him a couple times. Okay. Before he does anything, just keep throwing knife him. I could have ran up to him and taken him down, actually, because he was stunned at the time being, but we're okay. Okay, and then real quick, you're going to want to pick up this body. And you're going to want to move him right there. 
so that woman doesn't spot that dead body while you're going for this last guy on the roof. Okay, and then to get this guy's attention, because you're too far away from him, you're going to want to stand up for a second, make a couple steps, crouch again. Okay, he'll walk over to this ledge right here, and then you can do a ledge takedown. Okay, now this lady, she did actually get alerted, and that has happened before. You just have to sneak up behind her. Even though she's alerted, she still doesn't know what's going on. Okay, you can use a throwing knife right here. And there you have it! Eden's Convent, liberated, undetected. Boom! <laughs> nice. Oh, geez, they have someone hanging up right there. That's great. Nice, another outpost is ours. All undetected. I think I'm going to have to go back for one outpost that was, like, at the very beginning on an island. It only had, like, three people at it, but I still have to go back for it eventually. Uh, anyway, uh, one thing I wanted to point out in one of my last walkthroughs, it was for this outpost right here. I called it the Cult Outpost, but uh, actually it's called GSOP conservatory that's what that that outpost was actually called yeah G stops conservatory not cult outpost <laughs> so yeah just want to clarify that up anyways that's all I have for you in this video everyone thank you so much for watching uh, make sure to leave any questions you have in the comment section I'll try to answer them the best I can uh, if you have any requests at all I'll post those in the comment section as well leave a like if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more videos like this uh, check out the video I'm going to link in the top right corner of the screen and I'll see you all in the next one